Hi, my name is Rob Powell with Cardinal Capital. My partners Chris, Gary, and I waited around yesterday with great anticipation for Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, no relation at all, to comment on the Federal Reserve's Main Street Lending Program. We were hoping he would provide some guidance or some insights as to what is coming up. After all, this is a great program for both banks and the economy. It took until about the 40th minute before Chris Condon with Bloomberg News asked this question. Chris Condon. Thank you, Michelle. Good afternoon, uh, Chairman Powell. Um, you have emphasized many times, including today, that uh, the Fed can only lend and not spend, and sometimes the latter is what's really needed. But to the extent that a $600 billion lending program for small and mid-sized companies could help, what exactly is wrong with the design or function of the Main Street lending program, which has purchased just, I think, $1.4 billion in loans so far? Eric Rosengren at the Boston Fed said recently that Congress should clarify how much risk it wants the program to take. But Congress has already appropriated substantial funds for the 13-3 programs, and these are funds that are explicitly designed to absorb losses. Meanwhile, my colleagues who cover the banking sector say they're being told by commercial banks that the Treasury Department is advising them to target zero losses, zero losses in Main Street program loans. So if I may, why is it that the Federal Reserve, the Congress, and the Treasury apparently cannot agree on a loss tolerance that should be applied to the Main Street lending program in a way that would allow badly needed credit to reach these companies? Thank you. A good question. Not only did he ask a very relevant question, getting at the heart of one of the roadblocks in the Main Street lending program's full implementation across the country, but he also proved to us that he's one of the very few reporters not recording from his basement. And this is how Chairman Powell answered. Yep. Sure, sir. So, so a couple things about Main Street. It, it reaches the whole nation. <clears throat> it's got more than half of the banking industry assets signed up uh, among the banks that are part of it. And it's making loans. The number's more like, it's close to $2 billion now. So the numbers are going up. Uh, banks are, are joining. Uh, and borrowers are, are coming. <clears throat> um, and it's significant. It's, it's relatively small now, but it can scale up in response to economic conditions should that be, should that be appropriate. Um, you know, if you look out in the lending world, um, uh, surveys generally find that, that firms are not citing credit constraints as a top problem. And that, that is a lot of PPP, bank credit lines and syndicated loans. There's a lot of credit being uh, let out there. Um, um, so, but you're right. Uh, we, we are looking at some things. Uh, we're looking at, uh, some lenders are concerned about the underwriting expectations. So banks are going to, their, their approach is likely to be that they're going to underwrite this loan roughly the same as they underwrite, underwrite any loan. They're keeping part of it. And, um, you know, what, what we want to do is, um, make sure that, uh, that they know that they should take uh, the payment deferrals and other things in in place, and also that you know it's it's really a it's really a, um, a facility for uh, for companies or borrowers that that don't have access to to regular way borrowing now. Otherwise, why would we need Main Street? Um, so that's what we're working on, and uh, we'll be doing some some uh, some we'll be making some changes in that respect. I, I, don't, I saw what President Rosengren said. I, I can't really comment directly on that. I just would say um, that, you know, this is 13.3. If you look at the law under Section 13.3, it, it's very clear that we are to make loans only to solvent borrowers. And, and the CARES Act is quite specific in keeping all of the terms of, of Section 13.3 in effect, including the requirement that we, you know, gather good evidence that the borrower is solvent this was this law was amended in you know under um, uh, in Dodd Frank and it, the idea was was to make it challenging and put hurdles in place before we made loans what at the time the thinking was to banks so now we ha now we're using that same law for for uh, smaller business borrowers and it you know it, it doesn't it's not uh, a perfect fit and and 
I, I would also just say for, for many borrowers, um, they're in a situation where, uh, where their business is still relatively shut down and they won't be able to service a loan. And so they may need more fiscal support. Um, having said that, we're, we're continuing to work to, to, to improve Main Street to make it more broadly available. Make it, make it, make it, make it uh, uh, available pretty much to any company that needs it and that can serve us alone. Can you just very briefly address the reports that the Treasury is advising banks to target zero losses? Is that appropriate? I can't say. I, I, I don't. I don't know about that. I haven't heard those reports. Uh, you know, again, <clears throat> if you think about it, we we weren't. We're, we're, we're going to have to go through the banking system to do this. We, we're not going to have 100,000 or a million loan officers working for the Fed and the Treasury. So we're going to go through the banking system. And the banks, banks like to make good loans. That's what they do. They're trained to make good loans. So you should expect that they, and we expect that they will do some underwriting. We also want them to take some risk, obviously, because that was the point of it. And the question is, how do you dial that in? It's, it's, an, it's not an easy thing to do. And uh, you know we're we're getting some loans made, and we're hopeful that we'll that we'll clarify this, and and uh, that credit will continue to flow. That is about as optimistic as we've seen him in a long time, which is a good thing. Now, we liked what he had to say. However, he really didn't say much in terms of details, but he did recognize that there are some problems but they will continue to work on this. And the spirit of the program is still there alive and kicking. So we do anticipate that this program will continue uh, beyond the December 31st of this year deadline uh, because we believe the economy will need it and they do recognize that this is a good program. While we do disagree with some of the numbers that he stated, meaning more people are getting, more banks are getting into the program, we're seeing banks leaving the program because of the ambiguity. However, we do believe this will turn the corner. What you can do to help is to contact your congressman and your elected officials and let them know that we need this program. So here's your call to action today, folks. Reach out to them and let them know the Main Street program is good. Fix it, please. Thank you very much, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.